<clears throat> I have to stand up. It's really weird to sit down. <laughs> um, what's the first line of that poem? Mm. Home, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I feel like I should have a book to read out of. Like, just hold a book. Just hold a book. Yeah. Yeah, but then I, I, I can't read it out loud. Uh, it's really weird. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. They say home is where the heart is, but I am home, and I do not know where my heart is. It is lost somewhere in the tangled street corners of my lover's chest, drowned in this tamed river that flows from her mouth down in between her breasts, because her rib cage is built from bridges, and her veins are carved from the asphalt of unfinished freeways. She has a stolen Indian name, and it refers to those sweet berries she used to carry with her during her childhood, but now her fermented fingertips are spread out like foreign suburbs. But when I am at her center, right next to her pulse, I am home. Sometimes home feels like a childhood friend I know too well to love, so I am always leaving her for places that are more punk rock, for people who are more punk rock, for places that have dreadlocks and better weather. And sometimes she feels like a one night stand I am having over and over again. And I don't understand how beautiful she is because I see her every day. And they say she is not a place people go to, she is a place people are from. But when I'm home, I miss her honeysuckle kiss. I miss the openness of her boom-blasting thunder sky. I miss her canola yellow horizons and her exhaust-stained snow. Because after 24 years, I know every one of her imperfections. All those cracks on her concrete face, every dark, dirty back alley she has ever given birth to, every gentrified identity crisis this woman has ever been through. <laughs> but on good nights, I will call her self-emulation laugh lines. I will say that those pothole craters on her underbelly are what keep her creative and happy. I'll tell myself that living with her is what keeps me sane. Because even though her breath is often dry and heavy with dust, she smells different when it rains. And even though she is grumpy and unbearable in her winter coat, she is so beautiful in her spring undress. So you, you prairie princess, call your estranged children home. Put those big city vampires to sleep and come lay with me on a river bank under a blanket of living skies because I think now I finally realized where my heart is. I think now I'm finally home. Again. Do it 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 again. Do